Welcome back for another Book Talk video. It's Fiction Friday, and I've got a monster of a classic to talk about today. It's Dr. Zivago by Boris Pasternak. This book, I just want to give a disclaimer up front. I only read the book once, and I read it because I had to read it. Though there is an interesting film, which has Kara Knightley and Sam Neill in it, and I did watch the film after reading the book, but I just want to say... I both loved this book and hated this book at the same time. Who, Which makes it difficult to talk about in some ways. Because I gave the book a 3 out of 5 star rating. I believe that it's something that if you're into it, you're going to really get a lot out of it. But if you're not, it could be a painful struggle to get through. Oh my goodness. I read the book as an academic decathlon coach working with students who were reading the book as part of their competition for the year, preparing to go take tests over it, answer questions about it, write essays about it. In some ways, I didn't necessarily pick this book out for myself, though I've always wanted to read more more Russian literature, and I've always been excited about that. Boris Pasternak, who wrote the book, was given a Nobel Prize for Literature in 1958, but he felt compelled to decline it because of the situation that was going on in Russia at the time, which is so tough. This book was written in 1957. It deals with a character who is at the heart of conflict as the country is in turmoil oil and at war. He is compelled to join the war effort. His name is Yuri. He's Dr. Yuri Zhivago. They need doctors for the war. There's a fascinating romance story going on, which in Russian literature often means a painful, torturous romance, as he's in love with a woman, and he can't really be with her, and her character is played by Kiera Knightley in the film. She ends up in a difficult situation herself. One of the struggles of reading the book is that it really helps to know your history, world history, Russian history, the Russian Revolution, and the way that society kept dealing with it because it wasn't as if there was just one battle or one struggle with it. There, there, they had recurring waves with political issues, with the turmoil and the unrest. And poor Yuri Zivago is caught up in, in it in so many ways. And he's not just any doctor. He's one of those poet-philosopher doctors who really is very philosophical and thinks a lot about things. Of course, it's not easy for him to be in the war when he's so philosophical. It also deals with him him interacting with certain officers who are in the military, and you get to see that. Oh, it, the character goes through so much. I do recommend the book. I always say if I give a book at least three stars, that means I think it's worth reading. And certainly if you're interested in the Russian culture and better understanding their history and what people went through, then I would highly recommend the book to you. It would probably be worth more than three stars. You just need to be patient and no going into it that there's gonna be a lot of struggle. This character's got a lot that he's gonna end up dealing with. And also, I don't want to give you spoilers, but I found the whole romantic attachment issue very difficult as well. And even watching the film, there were some parts that, to me, still came across as somewhat difficult to understand. So, I would also recommend that it's a book that you'd be willing to read more than once, but depending on what edition you get, it's about 600 pages. That that's a bit of a chunky book to read two or three times to really try and find the meaning in it. And Russian literature is great. It can be very dense, packed full of symbolism and meaning. You've just got to work through it. So it's one of those books that can be an effort to think through. And I know some people really like that. They're really looking for that in their literature. In which case, again, I would recommend it. But if any of those issues are something that you would find frustrating, trading, then you might want to give this one a pass. Ultimately, though, I'm glad that I read Dr. Zivago. I'm glad that I got a better understanding of the history and the culture and all of that. Plus, it was a good excuse after reading it to watch the film and to take that in. And you know how I love film adaptations and looking at them with the book. All right, that's it for today's book talk. Every day is a good day for a book talk. Peace.